Hey everyone, it's Pearl S. and Toys back in today's video with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Yeah, um, as of late, I feel like I've just been trapped making um, Marvel Legends videos, but finally we have some new Star Wars The Black Series action figures. This is the brand new Book of Boba Fett Wave, and I got mine from Entertainment Earth. God, I feel like I made that pre-order like years ago. It was such a long time ago, it feels like. But yeah, I finally got my hands on this wave. And first up, let's take a look at my most anticipated figure of the year, the Mandalorian. After entrusting Luke Skywalker with Grogu's care, the Mandalorian, known to few as Din Djarin, sets off to learn more about the origins of his people. Side art. And here he is straight out of the packaging. And man, I really wish I would have gotten this figure uh, before the beginning of December, as that was the cutoff date for my uh, picks for when I was making picks for my top 10 best Black Series of the year, this figure would have made that list easily. Um, but there's always next year, you know. Um, but yeah, this figure is just phenomenal from head to toe. It is just far superior to the previous version that we've gotten. He has those single jointed knees. He's fitting, you know, to fit in with uh, more modern releases that all share that same articulation. The sculpt is great, as always. Love what the Black Series team did with this. I sound like I'm like that sounds so bad. In that jetpack back there, that cloth goods cape is so so good. You can't even begin to imagine like how ecstatic i am to have that on this figure you know the previous version i like cut <laughs> i cut like a big hole in the back of the plastic cape to fit the jetpack on it at the same time yeah makes my life so much easier and that dark saber is just as nice maybe even nicer than the pre vizsla version uh, i've noticed that the white is just a little bit brighter on this one and here is a look again at the figure without the jetpack this time with his cape all sprawled out. It looks phenomenal. I love this figure so, so, so much. And the sculpt is just like even better than the previous version, which I actually have off to the side over here. Um, and yeah, just comparing the two, the helmet this time is just so much more detailed than that previous version, which we have right here. It just looks it looks super screen accurate and I love the bulkiness of the figure itself. Yeah, taking a closer look at the helmets and it's like immediately apparent which one is far superior. It's the brand new one. It's the Book of Boba. Yeah, this one it, it it's okay. It's okay, but this one is just perfect. It looks exactly like Din Djarin's helmet from the show just absolutely breathtaking to look at that holster has been like uh, one of the biggest thorns in my sides ever since this figure came out it, it, because when you plug the glove or the gun in you're not able to push in that pin all the way this time they got rid of that it is just open so you're able to tuck it in nicely and then you don't have to worry about putting this piece back over it uh comparing the gauntlets and this one is just a tiny bit smaller than this one and the same with the other side you can see this time however the shoulder pads are not glued on to the arm itself inhibiting articulation inhibiting inhibiting articulation sorry uh yeah you're able to get full range of motion out of those arms lovely 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 you go down here you get some even more like yeah this one so much more detailed than this version and you go down even more he has even more rounds in his boot that looks so, so cool. And the boot on the other side is brown this time. Yeah, it just looks a whole lot nicer all around. Go over accessories. Uh, the Mandalorian comes with his iconic blaster. He also comes with the Darksaber. Of course, his jetpack, which you're able to plug into the back right here. Just have it off to the side. Yeah, that looks so good. And a vibroblade, which is a very nice inclusion. Sadly, though, his hands are just a little bit too wide to hold the blade itself. Uh, yeah, kind of a bummer, but it's a nice inclusion. I would, I would definitely pose it with some other figures if they can hold it. 
But yeah, here with this brand new um, Mandalorian figure from the Book of Boba Fett, there's actually a hidden feature. So the accessories that he comes with, you know, he comes with his jetpack, his blaster, the dark saber, and a vibro knife. However, there is one feature on this figure that is able to hold another accessory. So if you turn it over to the back, you of course have those peg holes for the jetpack. However, there's one right up here. And if you're wondering what that's for, it's for, of course, his pulse rifle. Yeah, this ion pulse blast. I forget the name of it, but it plugs in very snugly into that port and you're able to have him go around with it. Man, that looks so sweet. It's kind of a bummer that we uh, lost this rifle when uh, Moff Gideon blew up the Razor Crest. <sighs> I, I'll never, ever forgive them for doing that. That was bullshit. But yeah, going over articulation, the head is able to move up this much, go down that much, side to side, pivot. Oh yeah, side to side, and then pivot, sorry. His arm moves up this much. And with the inclusion of a butterfly shoulder joint, his arm is able to move this far back, this far forward. He has rotation up there at the shoulder. And of course, this pauldron moves. He has a single jointed elbow that is able to rotate in a standard wrist hinge going up, down, all the way around. He's able to move this far back, this far forward. He has pivot allowing him to move side to side and twist all around his leg is able to kick out this far go out to the side this much go back a tiny bit he has upper bicep swivel he has upper thigh swivel a single jointed knee that is also has rotation and his foot is able to move this far down this far up and he has going over size comparisons here we have mando next to boba fett and Fennec Shand, Kersantan, and Cad Bane. Next, we have Tuscan Boba and Cobb Vanth, a regular Tuscan Raider and a Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker and Grogu, and finally, the Marvel Legends Spider Ham. Overall thoughts, and if I had gotten this figure, um, before the cutoff date, when I was making the list for my top 10 best Black Series figures of 2023, this guy would have made that list. Possibly the top five, the top three, maybe even number one. I am in love with this figure. It is per the perfect Din Djarin. Cloth goods cape, all those awesome accessories, uh, and that wonderful, wonderful sculpt. I think for the very first time on this channel, I'm going to give this figure an 11 out of 10. That means not only do I think it's perfect, but I think it goes beyond being perfect. It's just such a nice, nice figure. I think it's an essential for all Star Wars fans to get. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. And if you can't do it, their support channel will be greatly appreciated. I kind of fumbled on my words, but that's okay. Uh, we're all we're doing this in one take. <laughs> um, tune in tomorrow because I will be taking a look at the brand new Tuscan Chieftain. But with that, I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. This is the way.